What's up, guys and gals and everyone in between and outside of those realms? We're talking about graphics cards today. Uh, I already started talking about it like 35, 40 minutes, and then I didn't friggin' press record. So, I mean, I screwed up the audio with the recording. So, here I am talking about it again. Uh, coincidentally, today is the day like everyone's talking about graphic cards. <laughs> Everybody's talking about graphics cards all the time. I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, so there's this sentiment. I want to talk about a couple of things. I'm going to mention some people because they're references of what they've been saying. So I'm going to use it as a reference. I'm not saying bad about these people or like companies. I'm going to show you a website and some other things that are going on. N nothing bad about anyone. I'm using them as reference. Everyone calm your tits. Uh, or no, not calm your tits. Calm your, calm your nips. Nips are... Uh, Gender neutral. So, I was watching Moore's Law is Dead, and uh, and Tom and Dan uh, were talking about graphics cards for like the umpteenth time. However many times their fucking viewers keep asking them to talk about availability, and a lot of the fanboys, I will agree with them. The fanboys are wrong. They say that like everything's a paper launch if they can't get it, and that's not true. Uh, for those of you who don't know, a paper launch is when something gets launched and you're not able to get it, it didn't really get launched. It, uh, anybody that was there for the PS3, PS3 is essentially a paper launch. You went to Best Buy, hundreds of people online, there's 20 of them there, they weren't going to be there for like another couple of weeks. And it was like that for like three months, four months. That was a paper launch. They should have just launched it two months later. Uh, but they wanted that holiday money. So... That hasn't been the case for everything here. And they did, he made the statement of like talking about how many units were sold to being like, there's like 4 million units sold guys. So like, it's not a paper launch, but that like, I, I want to, I want to disagree with that. The thing that I disagree with there is not that there is four point, there's like, uh, it's about 4.2 million units. So I have little notes here. Um, and for Xbox series X and X about two, about 2 million for both of them. Uh, but the PS5 has been selling about 4.2 million units sold already. What I don't agree with is not the fact that there's 4.2 million units across however many 100 plus 125, 130 million PS4s that are out there. So it's not even a small, it's a small percentage of that market. But that is not a paper launch. There are still people able to get them. Now, if there were like 420,000 units in three months, four months, that sucks. That You're not able to get that. But what I'm arguing is using units sold to how many units are being used. Because because the, the, the idea from everyone is like, these aren't paper launches. And I'm, I'm just using Moore's Law is Dead because he brought it up and I watch him and I like him. Uh, I'm sure, I think Not an Apple Fan has also said the same thing of like, you know, no, it's not, it, you know, like a 3070 wasn't a paper launch because people are out there and have them. It's like, well, people are out there and have them because a 3080 was a paper launch so that when they actually launched 3070s at like five, ten times the the stock that they had for the 3080s, of course it's going to sell out. Yeah, they're going to sell out. There's a bunch of people that don't have 3080s are going to want to have to get the next best thing which is a 3070, which is not different than a 3080 Ti, but if you're sitting there with anything that's, I mean, a, with anything, it's not any better than a 2080 Ti, so if you're sitting there with anything that's a 2080 Ti or higher, you wouldn't get a 3070, but a lot of the market doesn't have 2080 Ti's, those people are looking for 3090's, 3080's, so it's like, it, to use those numbers and be like, oh, well, there's millions sold, that doesn't matter. Well, here's, here's what, why that doesn't really work. And it does work. It, it does work to kind of see like, hey, this wasn't a paper launch. Like, if I look at the numbers here, uh, let me let me let me lower this. I'll actually, just uh, I'll just show you guys. Uh, so, this is from everything that I could find, possibly from everywhere that I can that I can look. This is the only things that I can find concrete. I can't find anything concretely for the thirty ninety. The 3060 Ti, although the reports were, they were around the same numbers of the, th uh, the 3070. And I can find nothing for the 6800, the 6800 XT, the 6900 XT was around the 3090 numbers from what I can find. So the 3080, this is just AIB models. 
by the end of December, I believe, was from, I think I overestimated because it was like the end of maybe November, beginning of December for these numbers. And it was like 118,000, 119,000. AIB models. So all across the board, you're looking at, at about 130,000, 3080s, about. The problem with that comes with those AIB models are a couple of things. And one of them is everyone knows of the, the scalper that has 78 PNY 3080s. And like that was just bought straight for NVIDIA. Do they put that as their, their sold? Like, I mean, granted that was bought straight from an AIB who got it straight from NVIDIA who didn't give them clear glide guidelines that you can't sell it to miners on those large amounts or whatever. So yes, NVIDIA is, is yes, it was PNY, but NVIDIA, it's, it's their product. PNY is like, it's like 60, 40. It's mostly NVIDIA. If NVIDIA wants to do something or doesn't want to do something in graphics card, PNY, um, Asus, Gigabyte, they don't just go like, no, fuck you. We're going to do what we want. You have to listen to them. They're in charge. So if they, they let them sell those 78 graphics cards, however many else to other miners that aren't showing off their rigs, like, ooh, look at me. And are those counted in there? Because I haven't seen 3080, I haven't seen 78 3080s available in any store or any storefront since the launch. So don't tell me like that 78 3080s that he got there were not counted into this. You know, the other thing is scalpers. All right, cool. Here we go. So here we go. Uh, this is my local shop. Uh, everyone talks about, uh, I, I want to say central computers. It's not this that everyone keeps, uh, micro center. Everyone keeps talking about micro center. This is my local micro center. It's not really, uh, central computers up in the Bay area and disclaimer, this is all subjective because this is only based off of somebody that lives in the Bay area, not the greater even California West coast of the United States. I get it that it's subjective to my area. Here's the examples that I'm using to show you that like just going off of those sales numbers don't mean anything. So you go over, you know, those are the custom servers. So here, uh, they're not taking anything else for the wait list for their RTX 30 series. And all you can do is go and see what they have constant stock. Gotcha. Uh, can't do a wait list anymore. But if you go do build your own custom server or uh, build your own computer here with Digital Storm, you can find a 3080, 3090. So we're coming up with another problem before scalpers. Coming up with the other problem before scalpers of sometimes it's just the company's not selling what they want. So say a retailer gains 150, 3080s. Well, selling those right then and there for that versus putting them in a build that's like, close to two grand nets them a lot. They can create the build, put whatever, whatever you want inside of it, charge you extra. It costs them like almost nothing. They already have everything there. They make a lot more money off of that than just selling you the direct card. And that sucks. That's why it should be up to the company to actually just sell you the direct card. They shouldn't be selling so many and not allocating them to actually go to the DIY market, which is where a lot of this should be going. So is this, Again, is this like the main problem here? No, this is just a little symptom. We're sh like these, this is how you can see that just using those sale numbers goes, oh wait, but there's this, then there's this, then there's also this. It's these numbers aren't exactly representative of what's in the market, what's being used right now. All right, so yeah, so now you've got not just the AIB models and NVIDIA selling directly to miners. You have now retailers buying them up in large quantities or getting their graphics cards in there and then choosing to not sell them to the DIY market. Here's the other problem. So when you go to central computers, you go and you try to find a graphics card. I'm not going to look at anything below this EBGA 3070 because under here is the most expensive is a fucking quadro P 2000s and some 1650s from EBGA. So you can tell from here, um, that there's three companies, Asus, EBGA and PNY that these, they've been getting pretty consistent stock in for just a random amount of things. PNY for uh, the Quadro cards, EBGA for some of the smaller ones, 
1650s. I've seen some 1660s by Asus Dual. Um, I've also seen 3070s of the Asus model, uh, the uh, Dual Mini, uh, Gigabyte, PNY. Those are the three companies I've seen besides EVGA at here particularly. Now this is only like a day or two new because this is 20 graphics cards here. There was 17 last night and then 14 yesterday, the day before in total here. And a lot of them were the PNY cards. You couldn't find anything that wasn't higher than, than this. Uh, so it's not even like, let's stop there. So look at these cards here. We got the EVGA 3070. Uh, we have this one, the FTW, the Ultra Gaming, and another Ultra Gaming, but that's a 3090, a 3070. So if we go over to offer up right here, and this is, this, I'll refresh it. This is today. I just looked up graphics cards and I put in nothing higher than $850. Let's see what's available. What, what are people putting up today? EVGA 3070, an hour ago. EVGA 3070, 48 minutes ago. Here's a, here's a 3080 EVGA. So maybe they actually got one in or somebody actually got theirs in Bakerfield, Bakersfield, whatever. And you know, and so, so here's a, this is like what we're seeing. This is coming up first, uh, newest first. This, uh, I believe this MSI they also had, but not a lot of stock. There's like maybe one or two that it actually said that they had. Uh, the Asus Tough, along with Asus Dual, uh, is the another Asus from 3070. So the problem becomes when we're talking about these of like, oh, but they're being sold. They're getting restocked. It's like, yeah, but are they being sold and actually being used? Like, what's the Steam numbers for 30 series cards for uh, the 6,000 series, the RX, the, what's the name of it? Radeon, Radeon 6,000 series. What are the actual numbers of them being used? Hmm? Like how many of these are not just sitting in pre-builds bought by scalpers sitting and waiting to be sold at a markup? How many of these are actually in the hands of consumers? And I say that same thing about PlayStation 5. Like you want to say 4.2 million units are sold. That's fine. But every time, Every fucking time I'm on my Google feed and it says restock coming in soon within the next 24 hours, there are more PlayStation fives and not like actual in hand, more of this, like a screenshot of an order. It's coming this week. Bullshit. Which is just like at that point, those aren't being like used by actual consumers. So the, the actual outrage here is it's not like just blown out of proportion. There are the people who are blowing things out of proportion, but they're the same people who've been blowing shit out of proportion constantly. There's an actual problem here with scalpers, AIBs, and the manufacturers themselves, NVIDIA and AMD, Sony, Microsoft, Nintendo, it, who, whatever the product is, there's these three lines. Now, the manufacturer might be able to actually control it. Specifically for graphics cards, AIBs, need to just like have stricter guidelines, clear guidelines of you can't be just selling a whole fucking uh, crate, a whole, I forget the, the name of it. Uh, you can't just sell uh, a whole pallet to a fucking miner. Uh, you know, there should be some of these more guidelines restrictions there. But if, if, and we're saying a big fucking if, these companies were completely on board with everything. You would then have to not have scalpers buying them in the large quantities they are to actually legitimately be saying that this isn't a problem. Because even if the companies were on board, if they were clear about how much stock they were getting, letting us know when there'd be more restock, letting us know where the cards would be allocated, how many of those are, like percentage of cards would be going into DIY, like you just, you can buy the card, how many they'd be putting in a pre-built, how many would be allocating some other place, sold to a company, whatever. If they were clear about that and did the best thing for the consumer, but you still had people buying them in large quantities who just had the money to do it and are then reselling them and people are buying them because they're out of stock, then the problem is still there. The problem is with scalpers and all of this. This is a huge fucking problem 
because then we can never say that a, a launch is going to go well for anything ever again. Like PS5s, $700 minimum on fucking Facebook Marketplace and offer up is insane. Insane. And it hasn't, it's, hasn't changed since the first day. Except for the first day, after like two days, it went straight up to like $850, $900 minimum for a digital. Are you out of your fucking mind? For a digital PlayStation, over 200% markup? You know, so this is, so I hate this statistic of like, here's the amount that's sold. Because when you also look at this, there's a, a about 130,000 sold 3080s. How many of those were straight to miners? How many of those went straight into pre-builds and had the, and then the um, retailers had absolutely no intention to ever sell that, uh, that wasn't in a pre-built, so they make more money off of it. Once you have those numbers, how many of these cards are being bought, then sold by some piece of shit to make more money, and then bought again, and then only used just to be resold out of, it's a complete fucking shit show. So I wouldn't say all this if I had no solution, if I had nothing to say that I can make this better, because I don't want to just yell into the void and bitch and then be like, well, there's nothing to do, you know, Fuck them, they should be giving it out basically for free. No, 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 no. I, I don't have some stupid solution. There should be some legislation where these companies, the AIB models and the manufacturers, just come up with a markup percentage that they cannot go over, meaning anybody on the used marketplace or anywhere, while the item is out of stock. While the item is out of stock, there is a certain markup that it cannot exceed. If they want to have that at 50%, Fine. You want to have it 25%? Fine. You want to have it 100%? Fine. Put a fucking number. Have us then debate you on what that number really should be. It really shouldn't be more than like 20, 25%. But if they want to have it at 50%, I understand. No more, like no more than 50%. It is illegal to resell our product for 50% more while it is out of stock. Only while it's out of stock. You can then just not have the supply when it's in stock because then there is no need to have a fucking 50, 75% markup on an item that's in stock. There's no reason to charge $1,200 for a 6,800, which I have seen consistently. For non-XT, 6,800. 6,800 XTs for 13 to 1,400. Are you out of your fucking mind? It should be illegal. And I just, I don't see this stopping. And this is part of my argument of just graphics cards are stupid. This is a really big portion of why people might not want to get into PC gaming. Because yeah, this is a problem with the PlayStation 5. But for the price of any one of these graphics cards, you can get a PlayStation 5. Or an Xbox Series X or S. Fuck, you can get an Xbox Series S, X, and PlayStation 5 all retail for about the same price. You can buy a 6800 XT just on the fucking market. It's so dumb. And I hate this like statistic taken out of proportion with these asterisks of like you have to assume that every card being sold is going on the market. I'd want to see actual numbers from Steam. Of, like how many specifically 3080s, 3090s, 3070s, 3060Ti, 6800, 6800XTs, and 6900XTs are actually being used. I would like to know from Sony how many PlayStation 5s are currently registered with a PlayStation account or not registered with the PlayStation Plus account and still online? Because it's like, oh, there's 4.2 million units sold to PlayStation 5s, but they can actually check how many of them are actually registered and on, like on. And there's only like 1.8 to 2 million. Well, that's half the market is not being used. Half the market is being resold. That's not good. It doesn't matter if that's 1 million or 100 million. That's half the market not being used. What's that number? That number is important to whether or not this all matters. Because if you don't have that number, then this is all useless information and you're still missing a piece. So I don't think that this is ever going to go away. I think this is going to get worse until there's actual legislation to stop them from doing this. I think the first thing they can do is have CAPTCHA and allow no more than one to be bought on a consumer level. Period. The end. You know? 
I don't see any other solution for this, and I don't see this getting any better. Uh, and I hope it does. You know, not for not for me. Uh, I hope that everybody who wants to get their hands on this stuff can get their hands on this stuff. But the people that need to get their hands on a better graphics card because they're actually at home and doing stuff, I'm not in that market. But people that are actually there, unable to get it, or have to be forced to pay like a 40%, 50% markup at least to get what they want. Not even what they want, because I'm talking about the people that actually need it that are working from home. Like, don't spend $800 on a 3070 because you have an, an old 1070 and you time for an upgrade and it can really help and it's just your home system you're not really able to do too much with. Yeah, the return might come back, but paying the markup is not worth it. Then this sets this sets the precedent that not only are we going to be having $1,000 graphics cards, but we're going to be having markups on those $1,000 graphics cards permanently. It's a very, very bad thing. And I think that, actually, I actually don't know what to think. I already told you guys everything that I think. So let me know what you think down below. You know, go check out uh, uh, Moore's Law is Dead. Uh, does a lot of great, a lot of great just uh, tech content overall. Tech Deal is another one. And, uh, and yeah, just let me know what you guys think. What are, you, what are your ideas? What do you think of legislation stopping them from reselling when they're out of stock? Does that sound like something that most people could get behind? Whether or not you're like a super capitalist gamer or super liberal progressive gamer, whatever, whatever your political spectrum is um, as far as these companies and, and if they should be kind of monitored and put under control. Like, what do you guys think of just legislation that stops scalpers from reselling when it's out of stock? I'd like to actually know. All right, guys. I'm tired. <laughs> I'm tired of this shit. And uh, I'll talk to you guys later.